Hi, my name is Jenny and I'm the Mind Body Coach and today I have got a kettlebell hit for you. Uh, we're going to do 20 minutes for about 4 rounds, 5 exercises, 40 seconds work, 10 seconds, uh, 20 seconds rest even, 10 would not be enough. So we're going to do cleans, alternating cleans. So I've got two kettlebells, you might be able to do it all with one. So alternating cleans, chest up. So you want to look all the way, so you're hinging forward from the hips, chest stays up, not rounding through your back. So you're going to come up, pull your elbow back, come down, and then we're going to change sides. If you're using the hip drive movement to bring the kettlebell up, super strong here, so nice and strong. Then we've got a squat with a pulse. So I like to hold the kettlebell upside down so you can rest it against your chest. So it's down, halfway, down, all the way, down, halfway, down all the way. Then we have got sumo squat to high pulls. Turn your toes out, coming all the way down and then driving up. So you're pulling up with the elbows, but again using the hips to help you rather than it all coming from the upper body. Then we've got <laughs> forward lunge with a rotation. So holding the kettlebell, step forward, twist to the side. That was a bit wobbly. So you can place the foot and then twist or you can do it all in one. So you want your back knee down towards the floor and just watch your knees still stay tracking the toe. And then, single leg bridge with a press. We'll do half and half, coming down. So, one leg straight, pressing up and down. So you've got a bit of a chest press as you come up. Hips are nice and level at the top of the movement. So. We've got four rounds of those. 20 second work, no, 40 second work, 20 second rest, four rounds, 20 minutes. So grab, warm up, <laughs> most important thing. Start mobilizing your body. I've linked to my mobility warm up as always, and then come back and we will go straight into this kettlebell hit. Okay, so you have got five seconds. Get ready. Three, two, alternating cleans. And let's go. So snapping the hips up, down, drop it, instantly change. So you want to have your knuckles inwards so you can get that little twist round the arm and then use your exhale to come up. Keeping the arm really close to the body so that it doesn't fly up and then bash your wrist. Nice flat back coming down. Exhale up, snapping the hips. Core engage. 15 seconds. Good work, guys. Chest up here. Last 10, Steve. Almost over already. Five, four, three, two, woo. Easy, 40 seconds. Squat with the pulse next. I want nice deep squats. Oh dear, out of breath already. 10 seconds. So, I like to hold it this way, you can rest it on your chest. Three, two, one. So it's down, halfway, down, all the way. A little squeeze. Just stay low. Chest up. Pulling the ground together. So you're pulling through your heels. So you're activating through your whole leg. Halfway. Excellent work. 15. So you're squeezing your bum at the top. You've only got five seconds left. One. Oh. Sumo squat with a high ball. So your toes are out, snapping your hips again. Exhale coming up. So your arms are coming up. So your elbows are elevated higher than the shoulders. So kind of framing your face here. You've got five more seconds of your rest. Three. Okay, tap down. Snap the hips. So don't let the weight pull you forward. Chest up. Exhale coming up. So a little all the way down. Get your full range. Driving your knees out. If you can't come down without rounding forward, just don't go as low. I don't want you to hurt your back. Work in your, with your body where you are at this point. 10 seconds. 
and in and out. Four, three, two, one. Lunge with rotation. So the great thing about doing these hip things, because you're doing so many exercises, it goes really quickly, in my opinion. So you've got 89 seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one. So you're twisting towards the front leg from the waist, watching your lower body stays in alignment. So you don't want to let your knee drop or come out to the side. Ooh, good for your balance, as you can see. Ooh, halfway. Big twist. You can place your foot and then twist. It's a bit easy on your stability. So we're engaging through our core. Good to add some rotation. So we're working to our transverse plane. Ooh, three, two, well done. So that single leg bridge with the little press. We're nearly done, round one. Ooh. 10 seconds. Oh, how are you doing guys? Hope you're feeling this. As you can hear, I am. Two, one, press and down. Keeping your hips level, so you're pressing your bum, lifting up. We've already got 20 seconds on each side. Squeeze your bum before you come up, so your hamstring doesn't tie and do everything. Get your bum working. Change legs, same with the arms. If you want to make it a bit more activation through your arms, hold it like this and really squeeze on the kettlebell. It just helps to get that real connection. Two, one, round one, in the bag. Three more to go. So that was five minutes. I don't know about you, but that did not feel like five minutes. May get a bit harder as we go through, but that's good. We like it. It's meant to be a challenge. Okay, ready? And go. So alternating cleans. Tap it down as soon as you come down. So exhale, coming up. Use that hip drive. Everything's really strong here. You're not pushing your hips forward. We're just squeezing everything, pulling up your kneecaps. And elbow close to the body so it doesn't bash your wrist. Rotating it around. Halfway. Chest up. Last 10 seconds. Good work. Four, three, two, oh. Squat with the pulse. Exit. Oh. See, weights are so great in a hip class. They just make it that little bit harder. Also help you to build lean muscle mass. So it raises your basal, basal metabolic rate. So it raises your metabolism, basically. So down, halfway, down, all the way. So when, when everything in body weight starts to get easy, you need to up the challenge by adding a little bit of weight. You don't have to have weights. So you can use things around the house. Children, they work. 20 seconds. Stomach muscles pulled in, protecting your lower back. Good. Squeeze at the top. 10 seconds, you need. Last five, four, three, two, and recovery for 20. Oh, I need a drink. So, we've got that sumo squat high ball net. Three, two, one, coming down and up. Drive the hips. Looking good. So elbows up, chest up. Use that hip drive. Squeeze your bum at the top. You're nearly there, 15 seconds. Last turn. Last five, 
five, keep going. Okay. Rotational lunge next. <sighs> nice deep breath. So with all these exercises, you're gonna really use your core to protect your lower back. Everything's engaged. So really think about what you're doing. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Get up to stretch a bit. So twist and in. Twist and in. Nice big twist from your waist. If you extend your arms, it'll be harder. I can't with this weight. <laughs> Good. Let's get together. Twist. Make sure it's coming from your upper back. We've only got two more seconds. Back knee nice and low. And then again, keep the knees tracking toes. Next one takes us halfway. 20 minutes. That's all you need. Okay, you've got 10 seconds. Get ready for these presses. That's three, two, one, and press. It's extending the arms up to the ceiling. Squeezing your bum. If it's too much, you can do the double leg. I don't want you to feel any pinching in your lower back. Five seconds. Okay, other side. Last ten. Two, one, okay. Right, two more rounds, we're halfway. Back to your alternating cleans. Let's keep the, keep the intensity, and then I want you to keep that nice, strong technique. You've got seven seconds. Two, one, go. So alternating clean. Snap your hips up, chest up. As soon as you come down, another one. But no rushing and losing your form. We want to be strong. We don't want injuries. Chest up. Great job, guys. We're halfway. We've only got to do this one one more time. See, once we get past halfway, it's all good. Ten seconds on the clock. No giving up, guys. Just keep working through. Three, two. And one. Ooh, squat with a pulse. Well okay, last 10 seconds. Five. So down, halfway. Down, all the way. Down, halfway. Down, all the way. Little squeeze at the bottom. Oh. Good form on your squats. So engage again through your abs. Keep your chest up. Excellent. 15 seconds, you're nearly there. Oh. That's 10. Five, four, three, two, and. Right, sumo squat with your high pull. Whew. Nice deep breaths. <laughs> Have a drink if you need one. So, you've got eight seconds. So, same again. Two, one, go. So, tap, drive it up, chest up, use your exhale. So, squeeze your bum. Drive your knees out. Work with your a little bit of mobility. 25. Okay, 20 seconds. 50. Cheers. <laughs> last 10. Last few reps. Five. 
four, three, two, oh, gave up then. Not even meaning to. Body just stopped. <laughs> right, lunge with rotation. Ten seconds. Get your weight. Get ready.
exercises. Lunge with rotation. Last time with these two. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's keep working. Two minutes on the clock. Three, two, one, twist. So you're pushing off your heel. Not too close to me. Obviously you can't do it. So you're pushing off your heel to come forward. Until I get tired, balance going completely. Fifteen seconds. Thank you.